NBA news, David Griffin, who was the vice president of basketball operations for the Pelicans, told Ryan Rossillo this week on his podcast that an extension for Zion Williamson is, quote, an easy decision. That feels like a very important story to me. Here's Woj back with more. Woj, what can you tell us? Yeah, Greedy, uh, David Griffin's really taken all the drama out of those Zion Williamson rookie extension negotiations, essentially saying it is an easy decision for him to offer a max uh, contract to Williamson on July 1 when they can start. And so you can expect Zion Williamson along with John Morant, who is the number two pick in his draft, that those are going to be quick uh, max deal agreements out of the gate. And I, I think why David Griffin calls it an easy decision is just the historically great offensive numbers from Zion Williamson in his first two years in the league. And now the recovery from that foot injury, the shape he's gotten himself into, uh, the, the full recovery of that foot. And, you know, as we've been reporting all along, you know, Zion Williamson wants to stay in New Orleans. He expected that it would be a max offer. And with a max extension offer, you can expect those Zion Williamson talks to conclude quickly. And all of a sudden, you look at that team, that core in New Orleans. Now that includes C.J. McCollum, Brandon Ingram. That's, a, that's an organization that can be a force now for years to come in the West. Absolutely. Well, well done. Thank you very much. They played their way out of the play-in tournament and played pretty well against these Golden State Warriors in the first round of the playoffs. So, again, I want to go back to the quote. David Griffin said it's an easy decision on Zion. Should it be? Yes, it should. I think the Pelicans don't have a choice but to offer him the max extension. But what type of stipulations are in that extension? Does he have to, does he has to play a certain amount of games? Remember, David Griffin is not the ultimate shot caller in this situation. Mickey Loomis is who runs the New Orleans uh, uh, Saints. He call he's the ultimate ultimate uh, decision maker. So it just comes down to whether they're going to have trying to do an MB type. Uh, a contract extension, which if I'm Zion Williamson agent, I'm saying, hey, I need everything fully guaranteed. When you're a small market team, one mm -hmm. of the smallest market teams, you can't let you, you can't get lucky in the lottery and then let that asset go. You can't. This is how you, you look at situations historically, like San Antonio, and, and even though it's fairly big now, but it wasn't originally, and, and Utah. You've got to keep, when you get lucky in the lottery, you have got to keep those players. New Orleans has to keep Zion for a number of reasons. But here's the thing. They've got everything on that team with the addition of C.J. McCollum to anchor that lineup. What, what are they missing? They look like they're going to be a contender, at least a threat in the Western Conference for years to come if they have. I know he has to be a healthy Zion, but to have a healthy Zion, you got to have Zion. And so this to me is a no brainer. I said it all season that if you were a fan looking for a team or a stock to bet on, it was the Pelicans. And they outplay expectations they this did. year with Brandon Ingram, his ascension in particular, adding CJ, uh, Valanchunas down low, and then the rookies that play really well. If you're the Pelicans, don't mess this up. Mm -hmm. And I know you want to come to the negotiating table and talk about minimum games and, and, and all of these parameters. That's foolish and because Zion's not going to go for that. And I wouldn't go for that either. He's shown that he can be a dominant player. Joel Embiid his first three years played 81 games or so. You got to hope that Zion's going to get himself into better shape and all of a sudden become a dominant player that could take these Pelicans to the next level. And, and you know what else? Zion no need to go for. I lived in New Orleans. Buffet. It's those old sweet ladies saying, you want some of this fried gator, <laughs> baby? <laughs> nah, you got to turn that down. The fried catfish and those old ladies saying, you want some of this fried catfish, baby? You don't need none of that, Zion. Stay away from it. Yeah, I think you through it. Very quickly, I think I misspoke. They played Phoenix in the first round, respectively, not Golden State. But the point remains, New Orleans does feel like a team on the come. Zion Zion would be an enormous addition. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.